人单挑千古事，十指难出万军兵。Glove puppetry is also known as budai xi and can usually be seen as part of temple activities for festivals or deity birthdays. There are two parts to a glove puppetry performance. The puppeteer performs on stage while musicians play backstage using music to control the atmosphere. In Taiwanese glove puppetry, there are six essential elements: playing erhu, drum and gong, suona, script writing, manipulating the puppet, and narration. Puppeteers and musicians often have multiple tasks. Behind the scenes, there is also clear division of responsibilities. The traditional stage is called tai lo and usually has intricate works of carving and painting. The puppetry stage on display at the Puppet Art Center of Taipei is one of the best around, and is the proud work of puppet troupe master Chen Xihuang. 欢迎您来到台湾大湖湾来看江中戏。江中戏是真好，谢谢，赞吉。Traditional glove puppetry shows often focus on young male and young female leads. Master Chen Xihuang said that the puppets need to stand and sit like real people, while puppeteers need to memorize the lines. Although many new types of puppet theaters have emerged, including large-scale flamboyant glove puppetry, which has an army of loyal fans, the small and exquisite form of traditional glove puppetry is still one of the most representative forms of Taiwanese folk art. <laughs>